Hi, everybody. Welcome to the American Campfire Revival. So we are on day 99. Day 99 of our 100-day plan. <laughs> There's such a mix of feelings, a mix of, of thrill and excitement that we've made it this far. And also uh, a little, um, a little. So let's go ahead and pray together. And let's ask for heaven's help as we talk about where we go from here. All right. Let's do that. Our Father in heaven, uh, you are so gracious and so kind. Lord, you built this world to work a certain way. You made laws of gravity so that we don't jump off buildings thinking that we can fly. Uh, that that may, may sound exciting and, and the rush of wind in our hair may be thrilling for about three seconds. But when we hit the ground, we realized we were never meant to uh, defy the law of gravity and faith. Oh God, would you please revive us and revive our nation? Thank you, Lord. Help us to walk in your ways so that we can uh, nourish the root that produces the sweetest of fruit, personally and nationally. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, your son, the king of the world. Amen. Let's see. I want to make sure that, uh, let's see, my, my wife has called in twice and we're live here. So, honey, if you're watching... <laughs> Uh, can I call you right back? I want to make sure the sound is working and she's not trying to tell me that nobody can hear me. Uh, I don't think so. I think we're good. Um, so I'm here tonight at this university that is holding on to um, the truth of the scriptures and the truth of, of Western civilization and, 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 and the very truth that there is such a thing as truth that can be known. Living in a culture that is is trying to throw God away and get people to hate the Lord and hate this nation that was built on biblical principles. People are asking, what do we do? Where do we go from here? And I want you to know that the strategy that has transformed nations has always been the same. It's the same strategy that will transform your marriage. It's the same strategy that transforms your home from a, a home that is um, characterized by fighting and selfishness to a home that's characterized by heaven and fresh breezes of hope and freedom. And it's that, it's that same strategy that we find in the Bible for the transformation of everything. And you know what it is because we've been talking about it together for a hundred days. If you're a member of the family of faith, you know what it is because it transformed you personally. And now it's just about us nourishing that and then applying it to every other sphere of our culture. And that strategy, it began in the garden with Adam and Eve. We see it with Abraham. We see it with Moses. We see it with Jesus Christ and the Great Commission. And it's that small group of people, usually outnumbered, often persecuted, members of the family of faith, soldiers in God's army of compassion, who follow God's timeless strategy of transformation that begins in the heart internally and then works its way out to the external. It starts personal and it works its way out national. It's the same strategy that's in that monument right there. We talked about that monument. I would encourage you to pay attention. I wanna show it to you one more time. This is not something 
that was uh, invented by some movie maker. This was sculpted by the people in the United States, early Americans, who understood that what we have in this country is very unique. Miracles like this only happen every 6,000 years. We shouldn't let it go too quickly. We talked about that internal to external, right? Well, who's at the top? Faith, that's internal. That's the internal liberty that comes with faith. And then it begins working its way out to your morality, to the laws of your nation, to your schools where you're educating your children, all the way out to not only personal, but civil political liberty and ready to defend all of it. This is the same strategy. It's the same strategy that we've been talking about in this book. It's the same strategy that, that we have been, I've been showing you in this pledge to renew the American covenant. There's a family version and there's a personal version. It works, it works every time when we apply it. And so here's what I want you to do. My suggestion is this, where do we go from here? You know the strategy, ask God to help you play the role that he has called you to play on the stage of history right now in your life. Go through one chapter and answer the questions at the back of the book, have a conversation. You, and then you know what else you do? You give one to your pastor. You give one to a, a friend and you have them do the same thing. We can't just keep this to ourselves. We've got to begin to multiply those who understand these great liberating principles. That would be the first and most important thing if you do nothing else from this point forward. Make it a point to personally study these things so that it's soaked into your DNA like a sponge that is so full that you just touch it and it begins to overflow with the knowledge of who God is and what he's done in our nation and how we maintain and nourish the root that produces the good fruit. The other thing that I found so helpful is this. And if you uh, don't already have one, you can get one on the website. And the reason I love this is, is, is what, what I saw tonight at uh, the university. I explained this to about 500 people in a room you can do this and you will be a, an, an inspiring force multiplier of these principles in our country. It's now or never guys. These are, these are tools that I'm, I'm trying to make available to you, trying to think of the coolest things I can to, to help you with this. Because I've got so much at stake too, my six kids and my grandkids, we need to help each other. And then finally, I would say, if you are able to, you can get this uh, family heirloom pledge to renew the American covenant. Now you can, you can down with it like this, you sign it with your family, and that will serve to help you remember your identity as a covenant family, or as a covenant keeping individual. And it's got all the essential principles of the Doc Declaration of Independence and the American Covenant that we've talked about in this study. And let this remind you to be, to be diligent and vigilant and to study and show yourself approved as a child of God. If you've missed out on these teachings and you'd like to get those, they're on the website too. You can have your own personal copy and own all of that in your own personal library. Just go to the website and you can check that out. Our time is almost up. I want you to watch tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the 100th night celebration. I've, I've created something really special for you and I don't want you to miss it. So please tell all of your friends to watch live. Try to see it live if you can. I'm going to be going on live at 6 p.m. Pacific time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern time. 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Uh, West Coast time, Pacific time. That's when I'm gonna go live. If you can watch live, you'll wanna be a part of this. Uh, I've taken your requests and I've got a ginormous bonfire for you tomorrow evening with a bunch of people in a farm and it's off, it's, it's, it's off the chain. You're gonna love it. And uh, I know that it will be something you don't wanna miss. So tomorrow evening, make sure you tune in and, uh, and I will see you then. Let's pray this one last evening um, that we have together before tomorrow. Father, thank you for your, your kindness and your graciousness. What a treat we've had to fellowship together for 99 nights. Lord, we need a 99 year plan to return this nation to what you created it to be. 
Lord, help us be faithful to study these things and to, more than that, to share them with our friends and apply them with our children. Show us what to do, Lord. Give us divine direction. Give us wisdom generously and keep us from evil. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys tomorrow night.